Hey guys, my name is Andranik and I'm going to teach you how to do push-ups properly and we're also going to go over the progressions so that if you can't do push-ups on the floor you will be able to, okay? So first we'll begin with hips so hips could be, you know, you could either stick your bum out or tuck it under you want to be tucked under you don't want to stick your butt out when you're going through a push-up or a plank you want to be tucked under so your lower back stays more neutral or flat and your abs stay engaged. Alright? So don't, don't do this. Don't stick it out. You gotta stay tight. Okay? Next, we'll talk about shoulder blades. Okay? This is a part that a lot of people miss. But your shoulders can protract and retract. Okay? And you need to be able to protract at the top of every push-up. Why? Because if you don't, you'll sometimes see this on other people when they do push-ups. Uh, you might even do this yourself if you took a video of yourself. But your shoulder blades might be winging. So you see how it's sticking out off the rib? Well, when you're in a push-up, if it's winging, it's not good, okay? It should be glued to your ribs. And you do that by spreading the shoulder blades apart, okay? Now, whether you can do push-ups or not, you need to be able to hold a perfect plank position following the cues I just gave you, okay? Now, on top of that, one thing I want to address is hand position. You want your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart, not too wide, just right there. And you want your fingers to be spread wide and turn them out slightly, okay? The reason for that is when you turn them out slightly, it helps your elbows stay close to your body. When they're turned in, your elbows go out to the side. And I'll show you what, what I mean. The proper push-up should be with the hands turned out slightly so the index fingers are facing forward and you lean forward slightly so your shoulders are just above your fingers and when you lower down your elbows are bending and staying close to your body now let me show you the bad push up if I turn my hands in a little bit so it's like in slightly and I do it, my elbows go to the side. So this is terrible, okay? This is really bad, and you'll see sometimes advertisements like this where they show push-ups and they're doing them all wrong. You want to have the hands turned out and the elbows stay close, okay? Now, another facet that's really important is that this forearm stays vertical, okay? I'll show you the bad way. The bad way is if you just lower the shoulders down and the forearm is going way back, right? So this is bending, right? So like this is very bad. Instead, you lean your shoulders forward and the forearm stays vertical and the shoulders come ahead and the forearm stays the same position okay now that is a proper push-up if you can't do push-ups on the floor then all you need to do are incline push-ups so for this video i chose this bathroom countertop i put my hands like this i walk my feet back and all the same cues apply my glutes are squeezed my abs are tight and I lower down until my chest touches and my elbow extends completely. So you want the full range of motion. And notice my elbows stay close and they're not out like this. You know, that's, that's not good. This is, this is terrible, all right? So you want to practice your perfect form using incline push-ups and when you could do three sets of eight reps, resting adequately in between each set, like say two or three minutes, then you simply move to a lower platform. And it'll be slightly more difficult, 
but you build that up so you could do three sets of eight there until eventually you won't need any platform and you could do regular push-ups on the floor. Now, at the same time, when you work on your incline push-ups, I want you to also work on holding plank on the floor. Because push-ups are not just about the triceps and the chest. There's a core stability and you need to work on that. That's why I don't recommend you work on uh, knee push-ups or what some people call girl push-ups, even though there's plenty of boys that can't do regular push-ups, okay? So don't do push-ups on your knees, just do incline push-ups and also do uh, plank, okay? So those two will help you tremendously. And incline push-ups are not just only for people who can't do push-ups. They're also great when you want to just warm up, you know? You want to just feel how your joints feel that way. They're great. I use them too sometimes. So, you know, everything has its place. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. That way more people will be able to find it. Thanks!